toxic. The definition of going home every day was going home. I know I'm gonna get in a fight. 24 years ago, Joseph Kelly admits he was in a violent and toxic relationship. So I reached over and grabbed the person by the hair and pulled him back. And then it, it blew up from there. And I remember that's the first time we had an altercation. Their first physical fight, but behavior he says he witnessed as a child in his neighborhood and at home. I grew up around that. I grew up seeing that outside. I grew up watching my mother deal with situations like that. Situations that in his early 30s landed him in jail several times, as he says the violence escalated between the two of them. It was scary. It was real ugly to live that way, in and out of jail. It tears your life apart. It tears your kid's life apart. I would say the number one thing is, is admit it to yourself and go get help. And Joseph says it was a court appearance that helped him change his life around. The only thing that made me go and get up was a judge told me, if you come back in my court with this young lady and y'all have any problems, I'm putting you in prison because she's not right. She's going to stay with you regardless. That's exactly what he said, and that woke me up. Next, he attended group therapy sessions, hearing from domestic violence victims. I got some horrible stories from what these women had went through. My situation is bad as their, their situation. But then I thought about how bad my situation had gotten, and it could have been one of their situations. He said he realized he was sick. Therapy is what saved me. I realized that I had an illness. And came to understand more about love. That's not love. That's not love at all. That's not even a thought process of love. You can't love somebody else if you can't love yourself first. He says admitting the truth is the first step. It's okay to say you abuse it. You got to stop. What it is is a curtain and they're closing it in front of them and they think they can hide behind it but you can't hide behind it and I, to be honest with you admit it heals you how are you doing I'm okay. <laughs> today he runs happy hour live a group that promotes local exactly. artists musicians and works to support the community they do podcasts and interviews joseph says his mission is to help young men many who call him uncle joe that's an honor to have that name that's the elder name so I live up to being all their Uncle Joe. Now older and wiser, learning from yeah. his experiences and working to help others. I take care of all kids. It's not just mine, but my responsibility is to take care of all kids. So, that, and domestic violence is what led me to this. It was my crusade to this. It's, it's what pulled me away and made me realize where my gift is for the community. If you or someone you love needs help with domestic abuse, go to our website, WTKR.com. We have a list of resources there. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3. You can find the previous installments of Margaret's investigation right now on WTKR.com. That is also where you will find what Margaret just talked about, those resources for anyone who might be dealing with 